Hey everybody, this is Chad Perkins from the All Things Adobe Podcast. Welcome to another episode here. And what we're going to be talking about is 3D in After Effects. By far, that has been the most popular podcast we've created so far where uh, I showed you how to make 3D objects using Shatter. So I think it's pretty clear people want to be able to do 3D and After Effects. So I just want to show you maybe another way to do that. This is not going to be a hands-on tutorial so much as just kind of like a creative technique type thing. So what I did, I, I love Ed Emberley, the cartoon artist. You can go get his books probably from your local library. Um, he basically just has this idea that anybody can draw with just simple lines. So I made this haunted house Ed Emberley style from, I think it was the big orange drawing book. I made this drawing in Illustrator and then I imported it into After Effects. And I basically have been creating solids that resemble the different pieces of the house. And then I copied them and let me go to four views here. And then I started flipping them around in 3D space. Now, my point here is that you could actually use solids or maybe solids and masks to create real 3D objects. Now, really what you'd want to do is do something like this in a dedicated 3D program. But the thing is, is that After Effects is so powerful. Sometimes it's worth painstakingly doing something like this just so you can work still here in After Effects, not have to uh, composite a video in. So basically, I've taken one of the solids, like say for the front steps here, this is the wireframe view, and I've rotated it 90 degrees along the y-axis. And so you can see it here in the top view, it's like the side of the step, and here on the left view, it's the side of the step. So basically, I've put solids all around these steps to make it like a 3D object, but in actuality, it's four solid layers arranged in 3D space. Now this is kind of time consuming, it is kind of painstaking, but the results are pretty cool. So here's basically my house made, a 3D house. And as you can see here, I could move this around in 3D space in After Effects. And it's not Gollum or Shrek or something like that that's like a real rendered 3D object, but it is kind of cool. It's a 3D object just made up of simple solids. And I realize it looks exceedingly hokey. There's not like a really powerful rendering engine in After Effects. However, if I go to this other composition where I've added some lights, you could see that it looks pretty sexy. It's a little bit slower on the uh, redraw time. As you can see here, I didn't model the back of the house. You can see back to the background. But it is kind of cool to be able to have a 3D object inside of After Effects that responds to cameras and lights that you made from scratch. And again, it's all just solid layers. You make flat solids of color, and see these are uh, rotated just a little bit, just tilted ever so slightly. But you just start arranging them in 3D space, and after a while you have these real three-dimensional objects. Pretty cool stuff. Thanks for watching.